Hello, welcome back to Blavis Vintage Toys and we're going to be looking at Marvel Spy Master today now you probably may or may not know who Spy Master is he is a super villain, he's a spy saboteur and he's the main, one of the main baddies for uh, Iron Man believe it or not so um, he's come on the Black Widow range I don't I actually know if he's in the Black Widow, I don't think he is but um, as you know I'm collecting this range I've got three of them now. Um, I just need three more. I need. Well, I'm building. I'm obviously building the the builder figure as well. Uh, I've just got him because it's the other leg, so I can get him to stand up now. So we're gonna open this up and have a look at Spy Master. I don't usually open them up on. Uh, use my knife to open them up on. Uh, on air should we speak but uh, needs must today again great artwork on these boxes I'm glad that um, the Black Star Wars Black Series has caught up with the having a bit better artwork on them uh, they just need to catch up we're getting a builder figure next don't they? again this is, this is this is I think I'm not sure but I think that uh, Marvel start to do window windows. As you may see in my other videos, there is like a, a, a thing that comes off of the uh, the inners itself. But it's, this seems to be more in cardboard with the inner and have, having a window. And I keep on about it. it's pretty boring. I know, but there you go. Nice little box. Not as nice as like a Black Widow, obviously, but <laughs> or a Punisher or anything like that. But uh, there you go. Let's get rid of the cardboard as well. That's good. They've got the cardboard, the little bit of paper that annoys me. There's a little flap there, so it keeps it in there. And the background is pretty cool, too, with all the insignias. Interesting. So let's get him out. Again, go by the legs and the hands, because uh, the, head, the legs and hands are going to be more fragile. And then you just pull it out that way, and then the head. Um, it feels a lot cheaper, to be honest with you, than say what the war machine, which is chunky, heavy. Even a, a punish is chunky and heavy. This just feels, it feels and looks cheap plastic. It really is. It just, I just don't know. It's, it's, um, yeah, a bit disappointing. But anyway, we'll see. Um, that leg's a bit <laughs> a bit weird but uh, we'll see if he stands up yeah that I just I, yeah that leg see that leg's not there's a bit of a gap in that leg I'm not uh, so sure about that that just looks weird to me yeah, maybe not. Um, not done perfectly. Yeah, oh, that's just. <sighs> anyway, we'll t we'll try and stand him up. Disappointed in that already. <laughs> um, he's got an unusual movement. Yeah, uh, maybe they didn't put as much quality in these because I thought that people wouldn't be as bothered, bothered about the characters. It seems loose as well. Yeah, the quality control on this one's uh, not the best, unfortunately. Um, got a thing on his back. He's got nothing to put on there. The gun itself looks, um, again, looks really cheap. Really cheap. It's a nice gun, but it's just bright red. Bright red. Obviously, put it in his hands. You've got no extras with it. No extra heads. No extra hands. It's one weapon. Which, um, to be honest with you, I just put in his holster anyway. So it looks better in the holster. Um, got a belt, and that's it. Really. 
basic. It does stand up, amazingly. I'm quite surprised at that. Because that leg, it did, it did stand up to us. Messed it about. Yeah, that leg is just not right. It's not right whatsoever. Uh, yeah, um, basically, just got the figure for the builder part, haven't we? There's no way I would have bought that anywhere other than getting the builder figure part, which I'm going to put in now, which is the main thing about this video. If I can push it in, there, clicks in. So I've got uh, I just need two arms and a head now. That's pretty cool. Um, looking at it, it's just not that much bigger than a normal figure, is it really? But uh, that's okay. And that's my first builder figure that I'm I'm going to complete. Really, I'm going to complete this. I've bought other figures that I've got other builder parts in, which I would like to get the Thor, but like I say, I want the Iron Patriot. But it's really, they're really getting really expensive now. But let's put him next to... I mean, the, I'd much rather pay for a figure that's got all these weapons. I know I didn't... I was pretty disappointed by the weapons on the War Machine Punisher. But, in the day, I could use weapons from the other Punisher to put in his hands. It does have quite a number of weapons. But, uh, yeah, I'd rather have something like that than a generic... It's not the it's not the characters per se. It's the it's just so poor quality. I'm really really disappointed by that. So unless you are really building this builder figure, give that a miss. And that's the first time I've said that about a Marvel figure. I think, yeah. Um, try and get the the piece online on eBay probably. You I, then then again you're probably paying the same amount of money as you would with the figure so it's up to you really I'll, I'm glad I got it because I need that figure I need that leg but that's going to go to the back of the shelf <laughs> if it's going to go on the shelf at all it might even go back in the box too that's, no it's not it's going to go on the shelf with all the rest of me Marvel figures I've got uh, Marvel and DC on the same shelf and I don't really want to do that I want to I'm going to have to sort my shelves out and get a, a dedicated DC, dedicated uh, Marvel. I know I've got the lady shelf. We'll see. We'll see. I'm going to do a, an updated room tour very soon anyway. So I'll keep so I'll keep an eye out for that. And I'm also going to uh, review Miss Marvel for my lady shelf. And Gwen Stacy. It's going to... If you think I should open that, leave a comment below. If you think I should keep it in the box, keep it like it is. Again, leave a comment and let me know. So you go, Spymaster. Very underwhelming, very cheap. He doesn't look good. Doesn't feel good. Doesn't... The quality is just very poor on that. So only get that if you're getting the Builder figure, I would have said. Unless you're a really big Spymaster fan. You may be. Maybe. Each to their own. And um, don't forget... Leave a comment below if you want to win the Boba Fett Mission Fleet because these are excellent. The The articulation in these little figures is fantastic. So if anybody, if nobody nobody comments soon, I'm going to keep it and I'm going to review it and I'm going to open it myself. So there you go. <laughs> so yeah, please subscribe. Please like, share it out. And share it out to the Marvel community because um, these Marvel figures are not getting as good of views as the Star Wars things because I think most of you are here for the Star Wars content anyway vintage toys content yes I know this is this is modern Marvel so I just want to branch out a bit um, let me know if you're disappointed with Marvel if you want me to stick to uh, vintage toys if you want me to stick to Star Wars Star Wars will always be number one on this channel always Vintage Star Wars. I don't collect as much modern Star Wars anymore. But if you want me to get some Black Series figures, I will do.
if you want to send me some to review that would be excellent and if you want to join my patreon to help me buy these figures <laughs> one dollar a month what's that what's that it's not even it's anything these days is it uh, I'm soon going to be changing it to pounds um, when they let me so I know where I am <laughs> Just trying to convert, convert the the, the uh, dollars to pounds. Yeah. Anyway. So thank you for watching. Play out the toy box. And may the toys be with you. <laughs>